everybody it's a Murphy Gray Hunter and it is September 25th and I have a book haul um, I went to half price books and I you know you know me just bought some books um, so but, but first I'm gonna show y'all I went to um, spirit again and um, I bought some more stuff y'all saw the video that where I bought um, I bought the Ouija board uh, salt and pepper shaker and about the Hocus Pocus cup. And I bought the little Ouija board plate. It was like the it was like the size of the, the plant chip, like a like a little plate. And I have that. I have those in my witchy room. And I did that in the last shopping haul. You can see those in there. Um, so I went and I bought two more things from um, Spirit. So this was $6.99. And it's a Ouija board necklace. I have a smaller one that I got from the uh, Pagan Pride a couple of years ago. Maybe like three years ago. But that is hanging in my truck. Um, and um, so I thought that was super cute, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Super cute. That was $6.99. And then I got this altar cloth. Well, I'm using it as an altar cloth. Isn't that cute? You know what I really like about this is because it's like based on the original, the original design. I guess the original, it may not be the original design, but this is the design that I like. So I'm using this as not so, I mean, yeah, I'm, you can use it as an ultra cloth, but I use it when I do my, um, my card reading. I've been using it for that. Okay. Then, went to half price books, and I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen books. Before I show you the books. When I was um, checking out, I, they had these little Ouija board uh, playing cards. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love these. You guys know I collect the Ouija board um, things. And so, so this is the back of the cards. So cute, right? And then these are so the Joker card is a no card. Where's the other Joker card? Here it is. And the other Joker card is the yes. But the rest of the cards are pictures of the planchet. So if it's a queen, it says a queen, then it's there in the little, in the eye. These are super, super cute. These were $2.99. I'm like, I'm going to have to go get me another pack to keep with my Ouija board collection stuff. Um, and then use these to keep in my my shelf with all of my tarot and oracle cards. Because I'm really trying to learn how to read cards um, using like just playing cards. I really am trying to do that. Yes, I had to take my hooker nails off because I broke this finger. Um, I broke it right um, here at the uh, where my cuticle and my nail is. Uh, remember when I was sick with the flu and I told you I hit my my nail and it was all purple and stuff and I couldn't I could not go and get my nail taken off because it hurt just to like touch it. Finally, you know my finger healed and it was still hurting, but no biggie. Then the nail, the nail, not just a fake nail, but my whole nail just came off. I'm like, whoa. So. I had to get all, uh, I had, I had no fingernail here, so I had to go, I just got all of them taken off. So, I said, no, give my hands a break, and then get them back on. Okay, so let me show you what the first non-witchy book, which is a secret. I got this for $7.99. You guys, I've had this book, uh, but I lent it to someone, and I'm not sure who I lent it out to, and so I'm like, damn it. So, um, if y'all have never read The Secret, it's such a great book because this book really, um, it really gives you the formula to set your intentions to get whatever it is that you want through positive thinking. 
you know, I always say that um, through positive thinking, you can accomplish anything. You know, even like they say, some of the most powerful witches don't need um, candles and oils and herbs and all they need is great focus and great intentions. And just with the intent alone is enough to make things happen. And the same thing, this is just teaching you how to manifest your desires with just positive thinking. And um, this is a really, really good book. I've read this book several times and it's so, um, it's so inspiring, you know, because you read this book, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to think this way. I'm going to do this. It's a really good book. And if y'all, like I said, if y'all have never read this book, uh, you can't afford to buy it, you can get on YouTube and they have the whole audio book on there. So you can just download it and listen to the whole thing. Um, and, um, but it's such a good book. It's, it's a book that I read over and over. And like I said, I lent it to someone because I wanted someone else to enjoy in that, you know, that all that positive flow that was going through this book. And then those mother crackers did never return, return it. So I'm like, obviously you didn't read the book because if you read the book, you wouldn't know you would be a better person and return my stuff. Anyway, but I got, I got this for $7.99. Um, second book I got, I got this book for $1.49. This is Unhexing and Jinx Removal. Removing. Super thin book. For $1.50, $1.49, not bad, right? This book covers like rituals for unhexing and jinx removing. Um, herbs, oils, incense powders, floor washes, and salts. Herbs, oils, incense powders, floor washes, and salts. So they have them all down. Um, and then seals, and then table of astral colors. And then information on uncrossing and colors of jinx removal and numbers. All of that in this thin little book, I'm impressed. <laughs> what is it, like a paragraph a piece? Um, so, you know, it's just like... It's not oodles and oodles of information, but, you know. Not bad for $1.49. Okay, the next book I got. This book was actually on my witchy list of books to get. This one was $4.99. And this is the Master Book of Candle Burning, or how to, can um, how to Burn Candles for Every Purpose. Um, and I could not have, I've not read through any of these books. I just bought these book, books yesterday, um, or Saturday, I believe it was Saturday. Um, and so this does not have a table of contents on there. However, it kind of shows you like, um, a, like diagrams of certain things. Like for example, um, let me find one. I'm sorry. What do you want? The turn, okay, close the door behind you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is um, to settle a disturbed condition in the home. So it kind of tells you, like, this gives you like a little diagram of how your altar is supposed to be and your candles, and then it gives you instructions. You know, so she's pretty interested in this. You know, and you can take a lot of this information. And, you know, you can take a lot of this information and just get ideas and just kind of make it your own, you know. Um, the next book I got for $2 is The Secret Commonwealth of <coughs> Elves, <coughs> sorry, Elves, Fawns, and Fairies. Oh, I love this song. Love this song. This is Lydia by Curtis Lee. I still need to take his photos. I love his voice. Woo. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, you know, I, I've listened to his music all the time, but do you ever have that, that artist that you listen to? It doesn't matter how many times you listen, you're just like, you got it right here. You got me right here. Okay. Anyway, this is just, um, this is just more like folklore. It's just a little book I got just to read. It's like a hundred pages. So this next book I got, um, it's two ninety eight, and it's um, it's called Protection Spells and Charms by Jade. Well, 
Um, and this has uh, information on protect your home, control troublesome in individuals against curses, exorcism from enemies, protect from harm, avoid accidents against injuries, stop gossip, return evil against violent crimes, against psychic attack, against slander, avoid ill health, and destroy problems. Ooh. And this just has, here's a table of contents, it just has a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can get through this before my, my husband call, calls me. He called earlier when I was making a video for my coven, and I'm like, can you call me back? So then I text him, like, okay, my little enchilada, I'm done. He's like, mm-hmm, why oh, you call me your enchilada? You don't even eat enchiladas. I'm like, I would if they were vegan. You can put vegan cheese in there, but I'm just, you know, don't eat them. So I'll call him my enchilada. Okay, <laughs> this has Rose of Jericho Protection. I don't know why I call him my enchilada. It's just like a love name. Like sometimes I call him love. Okay, love. Okay, we have to change Curtis because I can't concentrate. I'm just like making me like, t you know, like putting me in the mood. I'm like, oh Lord. Okay, so anyway, this is just our protection. I have not, because I have not looked through all of these, so I'm like super curious. Now this one, I can never effing forget, uh, freaking pronounce. It's on necromancy, but the necromancy, I can't pronounce this. Come on, you guys are like, oh, come on, Murphy, it's so easy. I can't get my lips to say it. I want to say, like, Comic-Con, Nick or Comic-Con, <laughs> but it's not that. Nick, I know, it's so easy. I know, I hate y'all all that can pronounce this, but I can, the Nick, Nick or, whatever. Whatever, I can't say it. Like, I can hear it in my head, because I've heard other people say it, but it's just, I can't. There's, there's my, okay, one of my coven sisters was laughing, because I said, there's a lot of words that I can't pronounce. Like, I just can't get my, my tongue and my lips to cooperate to say them. And, like, I don't know. I could say, like, you know, like, oh, you know, like, there's a lot of things I can say, but that, for some reason, there's just certain things. Idiot. I don't know. Anyway, um, this was three ninety nine. Don't know anything about um about this book as far as like you know if it's good or what really what information is in here. Um. So next books I got. Oh, my back Um. This one was two dollars. Um, Angels and Fairies, and this is more of like an art book. You guys know how much I love some art, but I'm making a fairy book, and I know some of this, some of this, so this may hurt some of y'all's hearts because I'm a book lover myself. But I like to take some of the pages and I like to use them in my books of shadows. And I'm going to be making a book of shadows for my not a book of shadows, but like a book on fairies. Um. And I like to use some of these um, photos in here. I've been collecting a lot of books that I'm going to be using for that. You know, I like the like I used the Poison Diary, yeah, the Poison Diaries um, for my uh, Poison book. Um, you know, and that book really is such a great book. And I went ahead when Louis showed it to me on that he got it on Amazon. I went ahead and I ordered it as well. And now I have that um, that book back on my shelf because there are certain books that I don't want to do this too but you know I like these are really really pretty photos and I would like to use those in my book in my in my fairy book so and speaking of Louisa's book I started reading Louisa's book you guys know um Sancisto Brujo Luis um uh, he has he has I think uh three books out and I am I started reading his first or one of his books and I Stop reading. This is right at the time that I found out about my mom with her cancer and everything came to a halt. And I was dusting my bookshelf and I came across it again. So I pulled it out because I'm going to reread it again. And when I finish reading, I'm going to give you all a, um, a review on it. Because I think um, 
Brujo Luis is amazing. He's just an amazing person. Not just saying, oh, he's an amazing Brujo. He's just an amazing person. Um, just what I know of him. And um, I'm just like, so yes, of course, I'm going to finish reading his book. Okay. Um, this one I got for $3.48. And this one is the Witch's Formulary and Spell, um, and spell Book. I'm still stuck on this necro. necro oh, why can't I see it? Just give it up. I know. Just give it up. Give it up, Murphy. It ain't gonna happen. Just tell me. <laughs> this just has like formulas for spells and stuff. I don't know. Again, I haven't looked at it. This is like go away hot foot powder, and it's just giving like uh, recipes. A lot of recipes for. Oils. Oh, I guess I should look at the table of contents. How about that? Oh, Lord, that's a lot. Um, there's several things here. Um, so I'm just going to read you a few of them. It's like, um, it talks about the art of incense, um, sacred oils of mystic art, inks of art, holy waters of the occult art, occult floor washes. I've always hated that word occult. Like, Peaceful home spell. Um, oh my gosh, I gotta sneeze. Um, the Mystique Skull Hex, Skull Candle and Reverse a Hex. Um, black Blood and Feathers. Seal of Spiritual Protection. So it's just, here's a lot of stuff. I feel a sneeze coming. Oh my gosh, I'm now thinking, it's talking about enchilada. I, there's a, a vegan restaurant in Austin, which is about an, an hour from, well, not hour, what am I thinking, 45, 50 minutes away. And um, they have, um, it's a vegan restaurant, and uh, they serve um, vegan enchiladas, and they are so good. I would love to go there tomorrow for lunch. Tomorrow I'm taking my mom to the doctor, to her cancer doctor, at the crack ass of dawn of morning. And then, uh, you guys know I'm not a morning person. I'm like, I'll be up. Um, and then blood work, and then to her therapist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, so, in between, we're going to have lunch. I would love to go to Mother's restaurant and have um, some vegan food. But my mother is not vegan. Although, of all the vegan food that I make, she eats. Um, Jade eats chicken. She goes back and forth. I'm polotarian, which she only eats chicken, or I'm vegetarian. So I think today she's still chick. Yeah, she ate chicken today. Um, and then my sister is uh, pescatarian, which only eats fish. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry. That is Latasha Lee. She is also um, a friend of mine, and um, I did some really great photos of her. Okay, that's something we're talking about, right? The next book I got for $2.99. This is a Luciferian Way book. I am not Luciferian. However, um, I love to read about all different types of magical practices. Religious, pr religions, practices, cultures, you know, you guys. So I thought it's probably, it's only $2.99. This one was on my list of books to get, and this one is Protection and Reversal Magic, A Witch's Defense Manual by Jason Miller. And this one was $7.99. <laughs> no sense, right? Anyway, this, <laughs> this was on my, um, on my list, and, um, this has some pretty good information. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know, right? I'm so sidetracked. Just keep it on Christmas music because, no, I love Christmas music. That gets me singing too. This has like nine chapters and it's just like uh, recognizing attack, daily practices, uh, personal protection, protection for the home, exorcism, spiritual, uh, spirit guardians, uh, reversal and counter magic, which I really am interested in reading about that. Healing and recovery. Final words. Mm 
We can't listen to Latasha again. We got to put on something else that I won't sing. Oh, <sighs> Evanescence. It's not. It's probably gonna happen. Okay, this next one is The Devil's Bible. Um, this one was eight ninety nine. Um, my uh, one of my daughters is um very into uh, satanic uh, or Satanism, and uh, I saw this and um. To, well, let me. Let me read what this is about. I have no clue what this is about. Let me read what this is about and then I can give this to her. She's coming over here on Thursday, so I'll have to take this and read this. But I don't want to be at my mom's cancer doctor and I'm sitting here reading like this. And then like this little old person looking at me and I'd be like, yes. Could be kind of frightening, so we probably should not. <laughs> yeah it's a really thin book I mean it should I could probably sit up here and read it in no time it's like 45 pages this next book I did not want to pay so much on but I was really interested to read it and I really love the texture of the book this was $14.99 and this is Lilith Lilith or Lilith how you want to pronounce it look at that beautiful cover I love the color I really love that that symbol too. Can you imagine if my witchy room was this? The, my witchy room is this color, but if I did it like this with the black and all that, that's so cool. But I'm not about putting symbols on my wall that I'm not sure about, and I love what I have now. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, the whole the whole history of uh, Lilith is quite interesting to me. Um. And um, I, I just want to read more, you know, I, I, I would just like to know more. Um, and so this just has um, a bunch of information. I, I can't even tell you what this book is about. Like, I mean, I know it's about Lilith, but I can't tell you anything else about that because I have not um, even started to read this. So I can't, it's just, it looks like it's like a bunch of little short stories covering different things. No idea. Okay, so these next three books I got, um, well, these, this book here I got because I want to use this um, in my uh, Book of Shadows. Because you guys, you know, there's not a lot of us that can draw, you know. I told you I'm famous for my stick people. But <laughs> this was $4.99 and I love the, the design of the book. And I thought I could use some of these pages to put in my book of shadows as a like a layering effect. And right now I did a book, I did a page, I did two pages in my book of shadows. I did one on the chakras and I actually glued um, crystals in there. Um, I bought like little bags of crystals and then I glued um, like for example, um, one of the chakras, I had a piece of citrine and it's glued it. And, you know, I made, I, I wanted to, I like to use photos and I can't draw. So why are we even trying? Um, there's certain things I can draw, but not everything. And, um, you can always print out stuff, but I love to have something completely different. I love the layering effect where people use feathers and actual other things like envelopes and things like that and tissue paper and cards and so that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing my book of shadows and I thought I could use these borders like cut them out and put them in there as you know like to add a, a pop of color and just to make my book you know spruce it up a little bit I know some people are really traditional. They like to keep the book very, very traditional. And that's great. But, you know, to each their own, right? Ooh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Uh-oh, Brittany. Hooka, hooka. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know, right? This one is Dragonology. This was $2. I really love dragons, especially... Because I love Khaleesi on Games of Thrones and her dragons, her children, all about dragons. So um, I'm just looking at it thinking y'all can see it. 
You guys have probably seen these books, like they, they're big with children. I really love the little envelopes. I'm going to do this in one, uh, also in my book of shadows where you put the envelope. I'm doing this one page right now where I'm doing the layers and then I'm gonna put an envelope and then I'm gonna put the actual spell in the envelope. I'm like, oh my God, that's gonna be so cute. This next book I got for $2 this is the book of dragons. I got one more to show you after this. In case y'all like, God damn, this is going forever, Murphy. I got it because it was dragons and it was two dollars two dollars okay and the last book I got ooh, is um you guys know how I love the fairies and um, this book is um by Brian Froud um, Brian Froud is a famous um, realm walker with Faye works with Faye and I have a lot of his books and this is just so, I love all the little pop-up things, but there's so much artwork in here. If you really wanna know what fairies look like, Brian and Wendy uh, um, books, his wife's name is Wendy. Um, so Brian Froud and Wendy they have um, some of the most realistic photos of the Fae. Good Lord, my stomach is growling. Earlier I had some migraine noodles. Oh Lord, I love me some migraine. Migraine noodles. Migraine um, noodles are the bomb. I know y'all think I ought to learn my lesson. From all those noodles and I said I'm never gonna eat noodles again right who are we kidding who are we kidding okay anyway that's the last of my books what is this I don't know I'll read it later it came in the book so those are the books that I got um and then the course of things that I got from um, Spirit Store. I think that's all that I bought um, other than the stuff I got at the dollar store. I bought some Christmas stickers. Yeah. It's so funny because they have like um, Halloween, fall, you know, like for Thanksgiving, and then Christmas already. I'm like, well, look, it's one stop shop here. So I got those and some puffy stickers. An iTunes card because I love iTunes cards. Love it. And then a card for my husband because it's going to be his birthday. I need to send it off tomorrow because it takes forever for him to get a card or anything in Afghanistan. Um, I think that's all that I got. Yeah, because I made uh, everything else that I got. And then I got these for my daughter. Some cute little pencils. I said, Jade, I got you some cute pencils. She goes, I thought you got me something good. <laughs> Like it is good, and then of course I got her um, the fourth grade. We use these curriculum books. I have the big curriculum that I that I buy for her. It's another one. I, um, it's a complete curriculum for fourth grade, and then I buy these as well because um, I like to give her um, a. Um, I like to you know change it up a little bit. Although I should have pulled out the sixth grade because my child is so super smart. And so I said, look, Jade, I go, it has, it has, um, it has vocabulary words in here. I said, we can learn these new sight words. And she looked at them and she started reading them. I said, okay, I guess we don't need these anymore. So, yeah, the, my baby's on eighth grade sight words. Scallywag. Um, but anyway, so that's all that I got. I get all excited about her school stuff, and she's just like, I thought you got me something good, Mom. Anyway, that's all that I have. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else that I bought that I have not shown y'all. But I think that's all that I got. I feel 
feel like I've got something I put in my witchy room without showing y'all. Oh, you know what I did? I know what it is. I got some stuff from my coven sister. She sent me um, some great gifts. It was a um, coven slash birthday gift. And she sent me some beautiful things. I think what I'm going to do is um, make a video of showing all the things that I received from my coven sisters for my birthday. So anyway, okay, I hope you liked all of my books. And um, like I said, I have not been making um, many videos because my mom has been with me here for three weeks. And even though she's not keeping me from making videos, but I've been really busy. Just She goes to the doctor a lot. Um, and so... Um, and then just spending time with her and a lot of my family's been coming to visit her. Um, and I just really been trying to do a lot of things with her. Um, and this past Sunday, oh, so sad. It's my last snow cone. I've been eating snow cones like every day. Excuse me. So since my mom's been here. So I tell her, come on mom. Let's get, you know, go get your house shoes on. Let's go drive down the street and get us a snow cone. You don't even got to get out of your car. It's a drive through snow. Excuse me. It's a drive through snow cone place. And so we go get us, take, you know, for a little ride, take her out to go get it. And then, um, so I've been getting them, you know, I've been like getting them every day. And they're so good. And I normally don't get one every single day. And I'm not blaming this on my mom because I totally wanted them. But, um, then I woke up and I'm like, I had like a face demon. You can still see the residue of it. I had a face demon here and I had one here. I'm like, oh. <gasps> I got a face demon and then I had a small one up here. I do not get pimples. I'm very fortunate that I do not get pimples. And um, I'm like, oh, maybe mosquitoes bit me, right? Thinking, because mosquito had bit me somewhere over there, it lasted forever. And I'm like, I got these face demons. Normally, I might get a face demon when my comadre comes, but my comadre wasn't coming. So I'm like, oh. I kept thinking, what is it? And my face felt kind of like, like rashy and I'm like oh my god I'm breaking out what's happening and I, I figured that it had to be all the sugar that I was eating from the snow cones um I don't eat a lot I don't eat any sweets really um I have sugar in my coffee um but I don't have like I don't have candy or cake or things like that and there are donuts and stuff because you know um we just don't have a vegan shop right down the street that serves these things. So I just like don't even have them anymore. I don't even crave them anymore. I even stopped getting Starbucks. So, you know, um, but yeah, so I knew it had to be that, right? And so um, I just said, I, after Sunday, I can't anymore because I just, we, and since my mom's been here, we've been like eating out a lot because taking her to the doctor and doing runarounds and stuff. So we go and get like takeaways and bring them home or we eat there. And I just, I just said, you know what? I just been eating, even, e even as a vegan, you can still eat crap. And I was just like, I've been eating too much processed food. I said, I need to go back to eating my greens because I was having smoothies every day and salads every day. And I just kind of got off of my routine because my mom was going to the doctor like three days a week. And I'm just like, holy fuck. I live like an hour away from everything. This is, and it's an all day thing, you know? And then my mom had been fighting depression and oh, all this stuff and I was just like oh my gosh you know and so now I, we're doing all of her doctors. She has three doctor visits we're doing them all tomorrow so that's why we're getting up at the crack ass dawn in the morning and we're gonna go take care of all of them that way we, we don't do nothing for the rest of the week as far as driving out into town to go to the doctor because I homeschool three days a week and so we're doing all that shit tomorrow but and also too that's gonna help from just eating crap you know and um so anyway, and I mean processed food, like getting french fries or um, eat any veggie burger somewhere, you know, it's just, stop it, stop it. You know, I haven't, I was craving my salads and I was craving my fruit and stuff. Anyway, so I started eating clean again and I started exfoliating my face and these face demons are going away, but I did have my last snow cone on Sunday. I had the, I had wedding cake. Mmm, it was so good too. Wedding cake and cotton candy were my favorite oh and orchard vanilla and you know what's bad is that you can't even say well it's winter you won't want them no our snow cone place is open all year round because we live in texas and it's hot here all year round and then it's drive-through so you can just drive on up to it and 
can I have a large liquid crack, please? How does that help people like me? <sighs> Willpower. All right, guys, I'm going to go because I need to text my husband and say, hey, you haven't called me. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. As always, love you all and bless you be.